Welcome to the WIHS Journal. On today's broadcast, I'll be talking to Sylvia Jones. We'll be talking about her CD called A Reason, and today talking about some of the songs that are on the CD, and one song in particular that really strikes home is Psalm 91. Of the Almighty, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In him and I want to know, you know, I, I heard your song, Psalm 91. It's so um, prevalent for the things that were going on today with this uh, national epidemic. Well, we know we're turned back to that, but. Um, First, before we begin that, did you always grow up in a Christian home, or what's your testimony? So, hi, Anissa. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for having me on. I really appreciate uh, this opportunity to be with you and the listeners. Um, so, in terms of your uh, question, yes, I grew up in a Christian home, and, um, you know, as with any home, there, you know, homes aren't perfect, but I came to know God at a very early age, and so I was raised in the church. Praise God. That's a powerful testimony in itself. How did uh, music come along? Was that something also when you were younger? Uh, so, yes, from a very young age, I had actually uh, began singing in the children's choir, and it actually was the choir director who uh, recognized and identified the gift of singing. Uh, she pulled me out constantly to be a soloist, and she identified, uh, through the help of the Holy Spirit, the gift um, of the soloist, the, the sk- in skilled singing that was on the inside of me. Mm-hmm. That's great. And uh, so now the CD, A Reason. Now, when did this come out and how did it come about? I should say all of it together. Sure. So uh, many, many years ago, I, I've always, I've been writing music since about the age of eight. And I think I sung my first solo in church around 10. Wow. Uh, so God bless the senior pastor for letting me do that. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> he really believes in me. Uh, so um, fast forward to uh, being in my 20s and college, during my college years, I've always had a love for writing and would be in and out of studio in between getting my bachelor degree. I was always in the studio. If I wasn't in class, I was in the studio. And so a good friend of mine, he's like a little brother, his name is John Paul Lamb, uh, we decided to begin to record music and uh, and just pray and ask God for His direction. And so um, I began to pin songs uh, birthed out of my experiences and what others had been going through. So that's when the songwriting gift really stirred up when I was in my 20s. So um, the CD is A Reason, and uh, we, we were playing a one specific song, uh, Psalm 91. And, um, you know, the Bible verse, you know, that... It's amazing, especially when we think about what's going on right now with the uh, coronavirus and you know the COVID nineteen, the national pandemic. And when you hear a song like that, Psalm ninety one, when you actually wrote it and sung it, what was your you know what was your spiritual purpose behind that? You know, it's a it's a beautiful psalm, and it is one of my favorites. But to be quite honest, I didn't plan to record it. Uh, we were just about done with my first music project, which is the one that you have there at the radio station. And I wanted to sing a song unto the Lord in a spontaneous type of way. That melody, everything about that song was not rehearsed. Uh, the producer hit record and I opened up the Bible. And that's one of the psalms that it opened up to. And I just simply began to sing. He'll command his angels concerning you. And they will guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up, up in their hands. They will lift you up, up in their hands. That song, but that song itself really speaks of who God is and His sovereignty and and how much He loves us, His children, and those of us that call Him Savior, that call Him Father God, that it's just a blessed assurance that we can know no matter what, that he is with us, he's protecting us, and he's going to keep us. Amen. In that Psalm, you know, one of it, you know, pertain to now and be something, it says that a thousand may fall on your side and 10,000 on your right, but nothing shall come near you. And also yeah. that, you know, he'll keep all um, diseases from you. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, very timely. And, 
you know, what's going on with this coronavirus. You know, if we're not careful as believers, we can begin to um, act like the world and begin to really focus so much on what the news is saying and make those reports um, greater and more important than what the report of the Lord is and what His Word says. And, of course, we have to use wisdom in all things, right? You know, Absolutely. we have to practice the physical distancing and washing the hands and all of that stuff. Is it, impor- it is important. But we have to know that our sovereign God um, and the blood of Jesus is greater, and it will cover us and keep us. Amen. And so the, the psalm is so timely. I'm so thankful. Absolutely. Like I said, I, I, I came in, I heard, I was like, wow, this is like, this is so timely in, in today's pandemic, you know? So in, in doing the CD, I, that was one of my favorite songs. It kind of just resonated with my soul right away. And for you, what, what is your favorite song on the CD and why? Actually, you know, one of my favorite songs on the CD is called Miracle. And I actually did a remix of that one. I'd love to send it to you at some point. Um, but that song is really just, once again, speaking of God's um, ability to do the impossible, right? Um, when I send that particular song, I, I recall I was single at the time. And I was like, Lord, I just need you to show me some things. I need direction uh, regarding what to do after college. I need direction for my life. And so uh, he began to... And I really needed some mountains to move, and he really began to allow me to pin those words of that song, um, Miracle. And it's such a, it's, it's a powerful song as well. Father, I've come to let you know it's time for your miracle. So I'm so grateful for that. I, Absolutely. What kind of feedback have you gotten from the CD? You know, I've gotten wonderful feedback. And actually, a few years ago, um, there was a gospel award ceremony here in uh, Connecticut. And I was I actually won as gospel artist of the year for actually the song Miracle, I believe. So I was so blessed and honored to receive that award. It was all local artists who sing a gospel, contemporary, all types of music. Um, and it was held in New Haven. And so... There's been great feedback. It's been played on um, urban gospel radio as well. And as well as I've been able to travel and do some showcases, went on a college tour with another local group, God's Generation. Junior Fountain is the leader of that. And so it's been a blessing. I mean, folks say that there's a level of transparency and authenticity um, in how I share my, my journey as a Christian. And so that's my desire to be authentic and and to sing from my heart and and glorify God. Amen. We appreciate that. So for listeners who have maybe been intrigued by our conversation today, is there a way they can find out more about you or even about um, your CD? Sure. So the CD, A Reason, is available on iTunes, uh, as well as Amazon Digital Music. Additionally, I have a website. It's by my name. It's sylviajones.com. Uh, you can find me there. So it's Sylvia with a Y, S-Y-L-V-I-A, Jones.com. And we're going to be refreshing and updating it soon with some new updates and some new music in about three months. Great. It was a blessing speaking with you and learning how your music career began and anything. Any details that um, I missed or you'd like to share with our listeners? You know, I would just like to encourage, you know, the listeners to continue to stand upon the Word of God, uh, continue to trust in Him and Continue to walk in abundant living. God's desire for us is to, to prosper and be in good health. And regardless of what we're going, what is going on today, what the enemy meant for bad, God is going to turn around for good. And uh, just to be encouraged. You've been crying. You've been praying. You're wondering if it's ever going to get better. Once again, that was Sylvia Jones. She's a music recording artist, and her CD is called A Reason. For more details on this broadcast, call WIHS at 860-346-1049. The opinions expressed are those of the participants, not necessarily of those of the staff and management of the station. I'm Anissa Porticelli. The WIHS Journal is public affairs from... W-I-H-S, Middletown, 